Hello, Facebook, YouTube. Topic of this message is very important. Very important to understand. Topic of the message is talking about the reality of fighting to the finish. Fighting to the finish. Now, I know my boy Popeye coined the phrase fighting to the finish because I eat my spinach, says Popeye the sailor man. <laughs> yes, I watch it too much. Forgive me. I love Popeye. All right. Oh, that's enough of the jokes going on. All right, but topic on the message. But it's important to understand what that really means because Paul says at the end of his journey to uh, Timothy in uh, Second uh, Timothy 4 that he said he fought the good fight. He fought a good fight and he kept the faith. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, you know, th this is what really to me is, to me the scenario should be, the scenario of every Christian needs to understand that we're supposed to be about fighting to the finish. Not playing, not playing to the finish. Because here's the thing, like I did a message about, you know, religion and stuff like that. And... Uh, you know, the thing is, and versus um, uh, faith, you know, the thing is, you need to understand that this is a fight. I mean, and reli but religion is not about God at all. Religion is about becoming a God, making up something, you know, for the sake of gain and for the sake of attention and for the sake of becoming something great, you know, other than the truth concerning what is God's word you know that's what religion is an excuse for that you know what I'm saying people use it and abuse it for that idea and Paul talks about in 1 Corinthians 9 about the idea abusing the gospel of Jesus Christ the people don't understand that the gospel can be abused you know what I'm saying and the thing is and it's being abused terribly bad in this uh, church world and it's horrible to horrific it is and how people don't even know that is in concerning ministries that's going on that is being abused and people don't have no discernment about the abusive of the God the gospel has been used for and is not used for what it's supposed to be used for you know develop put saving souls and putting together the body of Christ not the building of Christ but the body of Christ that we come united together as one you know, same mind and same judgment, you know, is what is supposed to be the agenda. But people are now using this gospel to, you know, blow in the name of religion to create these ministries to get all this attention to think that they're all that and then some. And it's a whole lot of abuse going on, but people don't have a discernment to see it. But that's another message. But, let me, but I'm about fighting against that. I'm about fighting the good fight of faith, fighting the faith that focus on following the uh, strict word of God, the whole word and nothing but the word of God and not adding or subtracting from it. I'm about fighting that idea that we don't add and we don't subtract nothing to this gospel. We just live this gospel according to the whole word and what it's saying. That is what we, that is what true fighting is all about of the good fight of faith. And you know we keep fighting it and standing upon the truth no matter what people say or do to you is what is going to be. People going to say this, people going to say that, and people going many going to broad gate Many are going to follow this uh, lie and many are going to follow that lie. But few will stand up on the truth is what Jesus conveying in Matthew 7. You know what I'm saying? That look, this you have to fight to be in the straight and narrow. It's a fight. You got to fight the opinions of, or the, the nonsense to me people say to you. You got to fight Satan and his um, principalities and powers and rules of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places. You got to fight them too. But only by the power of Jesus Christ, you are only capable of doing it concerning putting on the whole armor of God. Because look, I love about the armor of God that the first weapon it presents when it listed 
is about the loins of truth. The loins of truth. Because it's all about the truth. We have to fight for, for the truth to be uh, manifested to people because lies are being spread every time, every, every day. Every day lies on television, lies on radios, lies everywhere. Y'all know lies, lies, lies. But we got to fight for the truth, fight for the authentic truth of God's word and say, this is thus saith the word of the Lord. And the thing is, that's people that's all about and understand about the fight to the finish. You know what I'm saying? They ain't trying to be cute about how they minister. They, they're not trying to get nobody's attention. They're, they understand that Galatians 1.10. You know what I'm saying? We're not here to please men. If we please men, we're not the servants of God. You know what I'm saying? They understand the truth of, about representing Christ to what he's supposed to be representing. And the thing is, people, it's not these days as what Paul said to Timothy in the perilous times. It shall be a people coming with a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. And, and it's not executing the will of God, period, point blank. I mean, uh, I tell people how much the work, the lack of the works the church has to show you that they're not really truly representing Jesus Christ. Where is the resurrection? I mean, they they still busy calling real resurrection day after a, a, a false goddess. You know what I'm saying? It's, they're comfortable in putting a false goddess, Easter, a.k.a. Estar, in front of the day that gave, gave hope and life, humanity, a chance to have a relationship with God. I mean, this church system is crazy. Y'all, I'll leave that for you to think of think on that but the thing is it's all see and you like oh mac what are you talking well that's fighting what i'm showing you is fighting the good fight you know what i'm saying and the thing is it gets ugly and people are like mac i don't like you because you think that this and you think that that is part of the game of fighting that is part of the fight you fight against opinions of men that's uh ridiculous but the thing is you just fight against the truth and the whole truth and nothing but the truth because I, I think people forgetting that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And God, his, he was seeking out the worshipers that worship in spirit and truth. I think people got to the place and forgot that in the ideal of church systems these days, no spirit and truth at all, you know. But spirit and truth will call it a comeback very soon. But the thing is, that's what fighting to the good fight of faith, to defending the word of God and the authentic in the scriptures to what it says and staying on the truth and, and, and living out the truth and asking God for the power to live out the truth. Look, it's a difficult journey of living the uh, life of Jesus Christ without the power of God, without by faith through grace. There's no way I will be right now giving you this word of God and doing ministry in the word of God. There's no way. But, you know, the thing is, I, I, I'm I doing it by the grace, by faith through grace. You know what I'm saying? No matter what it takes. This is not by Mac power, Mac ability. It's about the power of God. I can truly e execute the things that I need to execute in order to fulfill my purpose. And that is a fight itself. And the thing is, and it's all about giving your all in all. Not your some and all, but your all in all to execute. And, and God will come through for you and will execute what he got to do to do something great for the sake of people to fulfill the purpose in their life, to be made in the image and likeness of God. That's what it's all about. But guess what? It's a fight. That's what, you know, Paul is trying to say. And you do it to the finish, to finish it you finish it you finish you you fight to the finish but see watch this how long how long is the finish line where is the finish line? you don't look for a finish line no sir you don't look for no finish line you just keep fighting i don't look i'm not looking for no finish line i know well god want me to do this god want me to do that well okay but it, it may take long it may take this distance and a, a long time but you keep on fighting you know, as my boy Rocky says, you know, I didn't hear no bell. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't hear no bell here. You just keep on fighting and fighting and fighting to the finish until God, till God 
take you out of this earth. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what the real, true, authentic gospel is supposed to be all about. Fighting to the finish for the sake of truth. And the thing help people understand the truth. So help you God and God will help you through it. And the thing is, that's what I hope you understand about fighting to the finish. And you get the understanding that it'll bless, become a better, great warrior for Jesus Christ. Who's the author and the finisher of our faith. Because I look to him. To help me finish, you know. And the thing is, don't look to men's and their foolishness, but look to Jesus, the author, the finish of our faith, to finish the whatever needs to be done by his power and by his might. His spirit is how we can live this life. Alright, that's the message. I hope you got it. To God be the glory, him forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen.